Hey there, Erica here, aka Topanga Malanga, with the newest installment of Malanga Langa Langa Movies Music Mondays. Woo! Hmm. Last week, we played Two Truths and a Lie, didn't we? Yeah. I got some of you. More than I expected, but not that much. Uh, here's what I did. I took Truth, and then I played with it a little. I believe Music Is My Life, when she made her response video, said that if I did only have one functioning kidney, that I would let you all know. Well, that's probably true. Maybe, right? Hmm? Yeah? Uh, I do have two functioning kidneys, but one's only 10%, and that's not very good. Since I'm supposed to talk about movies and music and stuff, I'm not really going to get into the three months that I had to stay home from school because I had tubes coming out of me and was on, like, crazy medicine. And, um, well, the time that we found out that I had a birth defect when I was 14, you know, that sort of stuff is not for here. But I think I'm going to have to make a video about that eventually because I think I've intrigued a lot of you. But yes, no, I don't have one functioning kidney. I have two, but the one's 10%. So that was true. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I love Dr. Pepper. I do. A lot. Almost as much as I love this headband that I'm wearing right now. Uh, almost. I <laughs> love Dr. Pepper more. The lie was that I have an adopted sibling. Joey and me, we share parents, I think. No, we do. I thought I was going to get some of you because some of you are my Facebook friends, and I've got someone else listed as my sister. She's my best friend. Her name's Naja. Fun fact, Naja actually was adopted by her parents, but her parents aren't my parents, so she's not my adopted sibling. <laughs> you know what? This calls for some super sexy shout-outs. Roll clip. Hey there. Yeah, you. You over there. You think you're so smart, don't ya? Mm, yeah. Hmm, who are you? You soggy 17 chan? Oh, oh, are you music is my life? Mode rendition. Uh, Lava lamps and dynamite? Hmm. No, no you're not. Are you Paramore 100 fan? I don't know. No, I don't know. I just know that you all are, mm, well, you're really, really good at two truths and a lie, and I'm not because I got them all wrong. Mm. But you know what? It's not fair. And here's why. Because here, I have to sit here and I have to lie to you with my face here. And you can tell, I think, when I'm lying when I'm not lying. But you, you get to hide behind the screen, right? And I can't see your face when you're saying, uh, mm, do I hate Nickelback. How, how am I supposed to know? I'm done with shoutouts. As for the answers to the two truths and a lie, uh, movies and music, the lie was Simon and Garfunkel. Huh? I played with it a little bit this time because Simon and Garfunkel did not originally want to go by uh, Sylvester and Tweety, but Tom and Jerry. Yeah, I just I just switched it with another cartoon comedy duo. Good job to those who got it. I'm not going to go back and check because I don't feel like it, so yeah. I'm home from school and stuff, and I'm happy. I celebrated Mother's Day yesterday with my mom and my brother and my dad and my brother and I had run to Target because we wanted to buy some movies because I'm never home anymore so we don't get to do that often so when we went we were kind of disappointed we didn't see much but I did see this it's called The Orphanage or if you speak Spanish, like this movie is in El Orfanato. I love this movie so much I can't even tell you and my brother was not watching TV in there right now and came in here. He would tell you he loves it too. This movie is insane. It's creepy and it's Spanish and um, it's creepy again. I don't know if I can really... Eh, 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 eh. Kid over there is really creepy looking and the mom. And it's like a spin on Peter Pan at one point. A little synopsis for you. I'm just going to read it off the back of here. It says, Returning to her childhood home, a mysterious seaside orphanage... Like, come on, that's setting yourself up for disaster. Laura and her family unknowingly unleash a long-forgotten evil spirit. Now, thrust into a chilling nightmare, Laura must confront the memories of her past before the ghosts of the orphanage destroy her. Dot, dot, dot. And everything she has ever loved. Oh, movie, I love you. I really, oh my gosh. I don't speak Spanish well. And I should be very careful about that because I'm probably going to post this on my Facebook and I'm friends with an old Spanish teacher of mine who I adore but it's not really his fault because then I took Italian and then like Italian came in like swept out all the Spanish I ever knew um but you know what I held on to uno dos tres toca la pared I'll say this because I don't know how you guys feel about subtitles they don't bother me I'm really good at reading but it does not impact the viewing of the movie my brother who is not a fan of reading didn't miss anything from reading the subtitles while watching. Um, you don't need to hear people speak to get the emotion that's being 
thrown at you in this film. I think the music has a big part and just the images. Haunting. Just ugh. But ghost kids tend to do that. It's rated R, so do with that what you will. But you have to. You have to watch this movie. Buy it. Really. It was like $7 or something at Target. And it's worth it. I love this movie so much. Uh, well, oh yeah. So we couldn't watch it because like I broke like two DVD players in one night. I don't know what I did. But now I feel bad. Just saying. Pick up a copy. Totally worth it. They're going to do a remake of it soon. Which is going to suck by the way. Because this is just. Oh, it's so good. This here is my favorite scary movie ever um, because I didn't have any nightmares after it and it had me thinking, you know, a few things I learned from the movie. Do not buy abandoned haunted orphanages. That's a good number one. Two, don't play games with ghosts. That's weird. Three, do not take your kid on walks on the beach and then let him wander off into caves during high tide. That's not a good idea. Four, Old ladies who are really creepy looking, don't let them into your home. And, um, and I learned Spanish. And, yeah, it's not like, say, Stephen King's It, where I swear my dad, like, let me watch it with him when I was three or something. Because I used to have nightmares that my little brother was in a rain jacket, little boots, out in the rain, playing with paper boats. And it went down a little sewer thing, and a clown, like, devoured him. And then, years and years later, I see Stephen King's It, and I go, oh my god, it's the dream I've been having for years, and, yeah. I'm thinking that maybe, uh, maybe that had something to do with it. I don't know. I don't care anymore. This is my favorite horror movie. What's your favorite horror movie? You let me know, and if I like what you say, or, or, if you compliment me, like, Usagi 17 chan I'll give you a shout-out. Um, uh, note that I have beautiful blue eyes and pretty blonde hair. You know, run with it. And I'll see you next week. Bye!